This northern Michigan coastal town is a mecca for nature lovers, adventure seekers, and history buffs. It's the perfect destination for a family vacation that offers options and opportunities for memories and fun. Welcome to Mackinac City, Michigan, located at the northernmost point of the Lower Peninsula of Michigan. Mackinac City is on the southern side of the famous Mackinac Bridge, where Lake Michigan and Lake Huron converge into the Straits of Mackinac. It boasts three National Historic Sites, unique shopping and eating, and loads of fun family entertainment. Here's some of the top things to do and see during your time here in historic Mackinac City. A great way to get the lay of the land is on either a one or two hour trolley tour through town. You can learn some history of the region, discover places to further explore, and hear some local tales. It's an excellent way to begin your stay here. If you enjoy stargazing, be sure to plan for an evening at the Headlands International Dark Sky Park. In 2011, this 600-acre forest that sits on two miles of Lake Michigan coastline became the sixth International Dark Sky Park and only the ninth in the world. Today, the U.S. has over 60 Dark Sky Park designations. But spend some quiet time in the dark here, and you'll understand why it receives such early recognition. Just a half mile north of Headlands is the McGulpin Point Lighthouse, an historic site. This lighthouse protected ships in the Straits of Mackinac from 1869 to 1906. Today, it sits on 10 acres and has a lovely view of the mighty Mac. On the shore, you can see McGulpin Rock, which was used as a water level gauge by the early settlers some 400 years ago. Speaking of which, the Mackinac Bridge is a sight to behold. It connects the lower and upper peninsulas of Michigan and is the longest suspension bridge between anchorages in the entire western hemisphere. The mighty Mac shuts down every Labor Day for the annual bridge walk. It's a pretty fun bucket list item to check off. At the foot of the bridge, you'll find one of the most popular places to visit in Mackinac City, Colonial Michilimackinac Historic State Park. The park has a reconstructed 1700s French military outpost and fur trading village called Fort Michilimackinac. From May to September, there are live demonstrations and tours where you can learn about the daily life of Native Americans, civilians, and soldiers during this time. There are 16 buildings, and you can actually fire all of the period weapons, like a musket, mortar, and a cannon. Also located in the fort is Old Mackinac Point Lighthouse. The keeper's quarters have been restored to look like 1910. Historic Mill Creek Discovery Park represents what life was like here in the 1700s, making it one of the oldest industrial sites in the region. You can see how the creek was used to power timber cutting. The park covers more than 600 acres and has three miles of hiking trails. They also have a zip line, a suspension bridge, climbing wall, and lots of opportunities to see and learn about wildlife. If you'd like to do some more hiking, you can hop on the 62 miles of the North Central State Trail. This recreational rail trail used to be part of the Michigan Central Railroad, which serviced the booming log industry back in the late 1800s. For a totally unique experience, attend one of the Jack Pine Lumberjack shows. Here, you can watch world champion log rollers compete in chopping, sawing, axe throwing, log rolling, and speed climbing. There's also a chainsaw carving demonstration. The U.S. Coast Guard icebreaker Mackinac was set up as a museum after it was decommissioned in 2006. Known as the Queen of the Great Lakes, it was built during World War II to transport heavy material during the winter months. It was the largest icebreaker on the Great Lakes 
and is now open for tours for you to learn about the vessel's 62-year career of ice breaking and serving as a Goodwill ambassador. There's also a terrific gift shop on board, featuring nautical, military, and all things Mackinac. Another small museum that's worth checking out is the Mackinac Bridge Museum. It's dedicated to the steelworkers who built the bridge and all the history that surrounds its construction. It's free and located above Mama Mia's Pizza, which just so happens to be one of the best family restaurants in town. And of course, if you're coming to Mackinac City for a vacation, your trip isn't really complete without a day trip to Mackinac Island. This magical island is a step back in time. There are no cars on the island, just horses and bicycles. There are fabulous restaurants, fudge shops, and great shopping. Mackinac City serves as a port destination for several ferries, including Shepler's Mackinac Island Ferry. They've been family owned and operated since 1945. They offer a 20 minute ride to the island. They also have several lighthouse cruises through the Straits of Mackinac and the Great Lakes, each narrated by the Great Lakes Lighthouse Keepers Association. There are lots of good restaurants in town too. For breakfast, try Pancake Chef. They have a great menu and a spectacular breakfast buffet. Darrow's Family Restaurant has delicious white fish and excellent pie. Audie's is consistently voted the best all-around restaurant in the area. Or grab some takeout and head down to the park by the bridge for a picnic to watch the sunset on the shores of Lake Huron. Mackinac City, Michigan is the perfect place for a short getaway or for a longer vacation. It's full of history, interesting activities, and a quiet place to relax and recharge. And you'll be awed and inspired by Northern Michigan's iconic beauty. Thanks for watching Shore Me Some More. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story about the shores, outdoors, and more.